there are all kinds of different ways of trying to stick numbers to these degrees of hot and cold, and they, on the whole, didn't agree with each other at all. So one guy in Florence makes one kind of thermometer, another guy in London makes a different kind, and they just don't even have the same scale. And so there was a lot of problem in trying to standardize thermometers. The challenge was to find events in nature that always occur at the same temperature and make them fixed points. At the lower end of the scale, that might be ice, just as it begins to melt. At the upper end, it could be wax, heated to its melting point. The first temperature scale to be widely adopted was devised by Gabriel Daniel Fahrenheit, a gifted instrument maker who made thermometers for scientists and physicians across Europe. He had several fixed points. He used a mixture of ice, water, and salt for his zero degrees, ice melting in water at 32 degrees, and for his upper fixed point, the temperature of the human body at 96 degrees, which is close to the modern value. One of the things that Fahrenheit was able to achieve was to make the momenters quite small. And that he did by using mercury as opposed to alcohol or air, which um, other people had used. And because mercury thermometers are compact, um, clearly if you're trying to use it for clinical purposes, you don't want some big thing sticking out of the patient. So um, the fact that he could make them small and convenient, that seems to be what made Fahrenheit so famous and so influential. It was a Swedish astronomer Anders Celsius, who came up with the idea of dividing the scale between two fixed points into 100 divisions. The original scale used by Celsius was upside down. So he had the boiling point of water as zero and the freezing point as 100, with numbers just continuing to increase as we go below freezing. And this is another little mystery in the history of the the moment or that we just don't know for sure what was he thinking when he labeled it this way and it was the botanist Linnaeus um, who was then the president of the Swedish Academy who after a few years said well, we need to stop this nonsense and inverted the scale to give us what we now call Celsius scale today <laughs> 